Titans are the barbarian class of the Destiny universe. We're ruthless, tanky, savage. In today's video, we cover the five Titan subclasses and show you a PvE build for every subclass. Arc Titan embodies the belief that the best defense is a great offense, with a strong emphasis on bare knuckle brawling. If Rocky was a subclass in Destiny, he would be an Arc Titan. From sprinting at crazy speeds to beating enemies with our bare hands, Arc Titan gets stronger the more you punch. Our build is Thunderstruck, and combines the insurmountable Skull Fort and the Risk Runner SMG. The exotic armor gives us health regeneration and restores our melee energy when we defeat enemies with our melee. Risk Runner chains lightning between targets and reloads on kills when we take arc damage. You can also run this build with the Centrifuge Exotic Auto Rifle from Season of the Deep. Its exotic perk allows it to auto-load when sprinting, and when the meter's full, kills trigger a blinding explosion. Pretty cool, right? For our abilities, we run Thruster for maximum movement, Thunderclap because, well, it's cool, and Pulse Grenades to punish anything that dares to stay still. Our aspects are Touch of Thunder to enhance our Pulse Grenades, and Knockout, which increases the damage of our melee when our shield is broken. Our next build is a completely different flavor. The Sentinel is the best support subclass for Titans. When enemies are bearing down on your fire team, the Sentinel says, You shall not pass. Void Overshields and the Ward of Dawn Super provide our team with survivability and the ability to play more aggressively in tough encounters. Our Sentinel build is the Purple People Eater and combines the exotic Monte Carlo with the Doomfang pauldrons. Doomfang gives us extra super energy for powered melee kills, and Monte Carlo refunds us powered melee energy on kills. It's a perfect, beautiful synergy. For our abilities, we went with Towering Barricades, Shield Throw Melee, and Vortex Grenades. For our aspects, we have Bastion, which allows our barricades to give us an overshield, and Offensive Bulwark, which gives us increased grenade regen and melee range and damage when we're inside the Ward of Dawn. As a bonus tip, we also ran this with the Second Chance Exotic, which gives you two shield throws and those shield throws can break a barrier champion's shield, which is just incredibly satisfying. But not, I think, as satisfying as this next subclass, the Sunbreaker. Sunbreaker has been the undisputed king of the Titan subclasses for years, so much so that Bungie regularly swings its nerf hammer at this subclass. It's like a game of developer whack-a-mole. But we have our own hammer to swing, and the fire we wield is a thing of beauty. When enemies see a Sunbreaker, they have two options. Stay and get beat down, or run, and perhaps survive a little longer while the room slowly catches fire. Our build is the Immortal Titan, which combines the Throwing Hammer, Exotic Syntheseps, and Tractor Cannon. Syntheseps gives us a 165% damage boost to our melee when surrounded. Tractor Cannon applies a 30% debuff to targets, and can even stun Overload Champions. For our abilities, we run a Towering Barricade, Throwing Hammer, and Healing Grenade. Our aspects are Roaring Flames, so kills with our hammer give us a stacking bonus to ability damage, and Soul Invictus, which allows our ability final blows to create sunspots. Next, we go from Fire to Ice. You know that Batman movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger is Mr. Freeze? That's the Behemoth Titan. The Iceman cometh! It's better when Arnold does it. Does anybody know how I get the rights to use that? We're constantly throwing down walls of ice, freezing our opponents, and then shattering them while our enemies silently scream in terror. Our build is Mr. Freeze and combines the Horfrost Z exotic chest with the Verglas Curve exotic bow. Horfrost turns our barricade into a wall of stasis crystals. Kills with Verglas reloads our bow with stasis arrows. When we hit fire those, they'll either freeze combatants when we hit them or create more stasis crystals. The result is an incredibly satisfying game loop of freeze, shatter, freeze, shatter. 
For our abilities, we run a Towering Barricade, Shiver Strike, and Glacier Grenades. Our aspects are Tectonic Harvest, so shattering a crystal creates a Stasis Shard, and Howl of the Storm, so our powered melee can launch a wave of crystals that freeze targets. Okay, I need to be up front that Behemoth is probably the weakest of the Titan subclasses in PvE. Is it fun? Yes! Do I want to run it in a Nightfall, Lost Sector, or anything where I'm underpowered? I don't want to say no, so I'm just gonna say... Nah, bro. Until Bungie gives Behemoth better survivability with, say, Frost Armor, this build is probably best saved for Good Times in the Vanguard playlist. Only one subclass left, and it's so dominant we had to save it for last. The Berserker Titan is Rage Incarnate. It doesn't just kill its enemies, it unravels them from existence. Enemies can't fight back because they no longer exist. And even if they could, we wouldn't feel it because our Woven Mail gives us a 45% damage resistance. Our build is called Abomination and was a fully featured video on our channel. You can check out the full video here. We combine the Quicksilver Storm Exotic with Syntheseps and the Aspects Banner of War and Into the Fray to create a truly terrifying creature. When the Witness goes to bed at night, he checks his closet and under his bed for a Berserker Titan. That's all five subclasses on Titan. Tell us in the comments which one is your favorite and what your favorite build was. If this video gets 50 likes, we'll do either Warlock or Hunter.